Hey guys, my name is Miss Phillips and I'm an elementary art teacher in Georgia. We're here today in my painting and photography studio and I would love to show you some lessons that you can do at home with some simple art materials that will be really fun while we are quarantined during this coronavirus. Our first lesson up today is a funny collage. I hope you enjoy it. So to start off our collage today, I found a bunch of old magazines. I have a lot of National Geographics, but you could use whatever kind of magazine you want. And I just flipped through there until I find, found something that I thought would make a funny collage. So I'm gonna start off with this kitty cat here. And when I'm cutting out stuff in a magazine, I like to go ahead and tear it out of the magazine just so it's easier to cut out. So I'm gonna cut out, um, Mostly just the top half of this cat because I think I want to use its face for something. Remember when you're cutting to use one of your hands as your turning hand and the other hand as your hand that goes up and down and opens and closes. That just makes it a lot easier to get around in all those little crevices. All right, so I have my cat. He's pretty cute. And then I looked through another magazine and I found a couple of um, dresses that I thought would be kind of funny if my cat was wearing one of these dresses. So I thought that maybe its head could fit on one of these dresses. And then I also went through the magazine and found a couple of other animals that have a head that might look funny in a dress as well. So we have a dog and a coyote and one of the geckos. So I'm gonna cut out all of their heads too. And the gecko looks pretty cute. Ooh, I like that cat too. Okay, I think I'm gonna use that cat. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue him on my picture. I think I need to cut off some of this so it doesn't show up in the rest of the picture. And I'll probably have room for one other friend in the picture here. And I think I'm gonna use this green dress because I can see a lot of it. So we'll just cut that out and then see whose um, head looks best with it. Cut off those clothespins again. So maybe they're not so noticeable. So we have a cat with a yellow dress, and oh, that actually looks really cute. That looks cute too. Hmm. I'm gonna do the cat and the dog. Okay. Maybe I'll cut the neckline open just a little bit more. Okay, those look really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and glue them down and then I can add in other things in a little bit too. So I have my glue stick. I'll just turn it up a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue the heads down first by putting a little bit of glue stick on the back. Thank you. 
So I feel like they definitely need some arms and legs and maybe something else going on in the background, like where are they going? What are they doing? I think that they are dressed up and ready to go to a school dance. And at the school dance, they're going to have maybe like a big limo pick them up and go to the dance. So I'm going to add maybe some uh, legs with some heels. And I'm just using a Sharpie marker here because it's easy for you to see. Oops, I made a mistake. I'm just going to turn that little mess up right there into a heel. Maybe make that one pointier and then I'll just color it in since I made a mistake and then nobody will know. See, now it looks like the other one. Okay. And we need some cat arms. Let's see, I think the cat should definitely have paws. And I think she should have one of those little wrist corsages where you have a flower. Because that's kind of what you do when you go to school dances. You have a flower on your wrist or on your dress. And then I think the dog, I'm just going to have her hand in her pocket there. And also a paw. And this one will also be wearing high heeled shoes, but maybe a little bit pointier version. And there's maybe like some, I don't know, polka dots on it. That makes it a little bit more fun. Cute. Okay, and let's add, let's add a street in the background because there's going to be a limo picking them up. So I think I'm going to make a really long limo. Because cats and dogs love to ride in limos, right? Let's add some tires here. Color that in a little bit black. And let's add a bumper and some lights. And let's definitely add a whole bunch of windows. And we need a couple, like a door to get in. And there's a door at the front too. Okay. And now it's time to do some painting. So one thing I realized after I made my video of me painting this picture is that I accidentally deleted the video and so you will not be able to see me doing this painting live because I accidentally deleted it. I'm learning things every day here about how to make videos since this is my first one. And so I'm just going to walk you through what I did since that video is no longer anymore. Um, I promise I'll do better next time. So I used these watercolors. I love using watercolors at my house and I have a lot of little um, tubes of watercolors like this one. You certainly don't have to use watercolors to color your funny collage. You can use whatever you have at your house like crayons, markers, or colored pencils. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit of this charcoal gray watercolor. And one thing I love about watercolors is they can dry up and then I can just re-wet them with my um, paintbrush and then use them again. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this gray. It looks really dark. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. And I think I want to go back in here in my limousine and make it a little bit grayer. Because it's kind of a 
tan color right now. I did go in and add a couple of little friends in the limousine. I have a dog and cat, um, boy dog and cats that are going to be the dates of these dog and cat girls over here in the dresses. And then we also have a limo driver, like a little man that's driving the car because everybody knows that dogs and cats can't drive cars. So he's in the front and they're in the back. And another thing that I did was I added a little bit of green and yellow for my grass. And I used a couple of different colors here. I used the yellow, the light green, and the dark green just to give myself a variety of different kinds of colors in my grass. Sometimes it's kind of boring if you can, um, if you do the same kind of green all the time. So I like to mix some different colors that might be next to each other on the color wheel. Those are called analogous colors because they look good together. So there's just a little bit of that. And I might add a little bit of water over here just to blend it. And that is pretty much it for my funny collage. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.